or if you've got tree roots, or if you're cutting or, or splitting plants, like I'll be doing this weekend with hostas, cutting of turf or grass, digging a hole is exhausting. And for most of us, we're not quite as strong as we used to be. I get to tell you a wonderful story. A gentleman who was an avid gardener in Connecticut, a man who had two hips replaced, two knees replaced, didn't want to slow himself down. So as a metallurgist, a metallurgist, a me good gosh, say the word, darn it. Metallurgist. That's the word. <laughs> Decided that he could make a better shovel. And he did, it's called the Spearhead. He and his son from Connecticut created a product that turns back the clock. It gives us a sense of empowerment to be able to go out there and do the work ourselves. A regular shovel hasn't changed in over a hundred years in design. This has rocked. Julian, welcome back, how are you? Thank you. This is the son of the inventor. At $45.28, I have to admit, if I saw this hanging on a, a peg rack in a hardware store, I would have no idea how incredible this is. But using it just once or twice, this cuts through rocky soil like you, you almost can't believe. You cannot believe it. Yeah. And, that, and that's what the people tell us. You know, we do these demonstrations and they go home and they try it and they say, wow, it does exactly yeah, it what works. you say it does. Yeah, it's just like that bald guy said on TV. <laughs> Can we show a photo of your dad? Yes. Uh, how, how old is dad now? He's 92 now. Okay, same age as my and dad. Can't slow him down, can you? No, no, and he still loves to do his gardening and loves to be out there inventing new things all the time. He's a serial inventor, and I'm an inventor too. And a matter of fact, we have two patents on these. We have a utility patent, which okay. means that it works better than anything else. It's a very difficult patent to get. Agreed. And then you have a design patent, which is the look of it is very different, well, obviously. Well, let, let me grab a regular shovel. And I'm going to hold it up, and let's talk numbers. Yeah. If, if, you, if I have a 100-pound lady, and she wants to dig a hole in her front yard, that 100-pound lady, how much force is she going to get on that point when be she steps up be, on a regular shovel? Right, because she's distributing it across a huge area. She's only getting about 20 pounds per square inch. That's it. She, that's why she's jumping up and down, trying <laughs> to create more pressure. Look at the difference in the shape of these shovels. This is more like a knife. It's made of a metal that is much, much stronger than the traditional. When that 100 pound lady, same lady, picks up your shovel to dig a hole, how much pressure does she now have on the point? 2,000 pounds per square inch. Very she big difference. She just became a superhero. Exactly. We didn't change her body, didn't. we didn't change her strength, but we changed her ability to go out and garden. Exactly. Can we show them? Yes, sir. Let's start with the yes, traditional sir. one. Let's start with, let's say you're gonna cut through uh, uh, sap roots. Yep for a tree, because you, you want to plant something close to the tree. Or perennials that you're trying to separate that have lots of roots in them, like right. your ornamental grasses, yes. So I'm going to stand completely on this shovel. You can see I'm lifting off the ground. My other foot's coming off the ground. Yep. I weigh 220 pounds and nothing is happening. Right. That's equivalent to you jumping up and down in your yard trying to make things happen. <laughs> yes. Now, I am barely going to touch this. And it goes right through. <laughs> it just pops right through. Just barely touching it. It's, I have roots everywhere. Every hole I try to dig, I either have a rock or a root. And this thing slices through it like you wouldn't believe. So let's talk about why, why it works so okay. well. It's because, like we explained, you're concentrating all your way in a single point. But beyond that, this is a wedge, right? And it's a sharpened wedge. It's sharpened from tip to tail. Now, it doesn't look as sharp as it really is when you first get it because we powder coat it after sharpening. Okay. So you have to use it a few times to reveal the edge underneath. But you can see, I went through those roots, no problem as a brand new blade. Right. So now you're wedging and then you're slicing. All these angles are going straight into the ground, right? Versus across the ground. Larger foot rest here to make it more comfortable. Extra hard, extra thick blade. I'm gonna show you something here we haven't done before. Okay. I'm gonna put all my weight on this one tip. You are not gonna bend that tip. There's nothing, no. <laughs> yeah. nothing happened to this. This blade is so hard you cannot sharpen it with a file. You have to use grinding wheel or okay. a diamond stone to well, sharpen. Let's show, and I, I joke about this, this is not rocky soil. This is a box of rocks with a little dirt in it. <laughs> but if you've got rocky soil, the, it, the angle of this cutting edge forces it to go between the rocks. Exactly, it finds the path of least resistance. I'm gonna do it in super slow motion so you can kind of see what it's doing in, when I'm doing it fast. See when I'm doing that, the angle is causing it to go in between right. the rocks. So I'm not gonna aim this, I'm just gonna go, it doesn't matter what direction I go. You can see that it goes and it finds the path of least resistance. There is no rock that stops it. With a regular shovel, you would be spanning multiple rocks and stopping, multiple uh, and, rocks and stopping. And, and you, you, would, you would literally stop. 
You try to dig a hole halfway through, you say, the heck with this, I'm going inside. This is a customer top rated item where 99% of the people who saw it and bought it would recommend it to a loved one or a friend. It's a shovel, but it's more than that, Julian. It's much more than that. What it basically allows you to do is to overcome the circumstances. Whether your circumstances are like my dad's where he has bad knees, bad hips, right. and, or he has pain, people have arthritis, it allows you to do stuff much less pain, much less frustration. It allows you to feel stronger because you are stronger because you're magnifying all your power. Yes. It allows you to get a sense of achievement. It allows you to do stuff that you thought you couldn't do. It allows you to not have to ask for help. That's yes. My, my dad is also 92 years of age. I can't slow him down. I cannot slow him down. But I also know that with the tools that he used to have in his garden shed, he was working too hard. And the whole idea of gardening is to enjoy yourself. I am splitting this weekend probably 35 hostas plants. The shovel I will use is his design. Now, which color do I have? You have the pink one now. That's not the one I'll use. <laughs> I've got a yellow one at home. Here's, here's the different colors. Uh, now, is this pink? Pink, sir. Okay. Uh, you lavender. Brought the brand new, and the lavender is brand new to us this year. So this one is the yellow. And then that means and that has lime. to be green. The lime, lime green, yes. Uh, and the lime green is very, very popular. Uh, you'll have this shovel for the, the rest of your life. It's, the old shovel now becomes wall art yes. because this is ancient folklore. You can paint, paint it, and <laughs> make it look <laughs> This shovel. A 100-pound woman has about 20 pounds of force on a regular shovel. That same 100-pound woman has about 2,000 pounds of force simply because of the design. The you, geometry you is what makes it work. You are a superhuman yep. when you dig with this thing. I'm going to show you, uh, a lot of times you're going to put down weed block, and you usually only put one layer. I put two layers just to make it more difficult for myself. You, okay. could, you could not go through this with a regular shovel. It's just too it's I, too. I've tough. been on my hands and knees pulling mulch back with a razor blade to cut through it to plant plants. So I'm going to put this. one hand behind my back. <laughs> I'm not putting Showing my off. foot on this. Yeah, look at this. You put your X, you put your plant in, you, t you remove the that plants in there. So, so you can see that it's like a knife and a shovel at yeah. the same time. And nobody else has this design. The, the two patents that Julian's father received, one of them is almost impossible to get to basically have the United States government look at a shovel and say, you've created a brand new shovel. Exactly. And we're the, we're the only big retailer in America to carry it. A customer, not only just customer top rated, but 99% of the people who took the time to write a reply and a comment said that they would recommend it to a family member or a loved one. So you know if you give this as a gift, it's going to be appreciated. It's yep. going to be loved. It's going to make a difference in their lives. So if you know somebody, your mom for Mother's Day is coming up very soon, or uh, and yeah, okay. family members that are in landscaping, the professionals even love this. Yep. They're able to do two, two and a half times more work because it allows them to get in and do stuff that couldn't be done before. With again, if you've got rocky soil, if your backyard is full of nothing but peat moss and, and marshmallows, then you don't need this. But everybody's got bad soil and everybody's got rocks and tree roots, etc. For splitting plants, there's nothing better. This is a box of rocks with dirt in it. It's way worse than rocky soil. And look how it forces the rocks out of the way and you get a full shovel load of dirt. So it's a shovel, it's a spade, yeah. it's a knife. It's your new <laughs> Vegematic for the garden. <laughs> it also, by the way, is built like a tank. You'll have it for years. Extra long socket, make it tougher. You're not gonna break a handle. Yep. Pull treated fiberglass, designed to bend without breaking. Hardwood core. Very tough blade designed to make your life a whole lot easier. It's the perfect shovel. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Tell your father that we said hello. We've got more coming up. Thank you so much, Julian. Uh, coming up, this did not exist a year ago. This is a cordless telescopic pole saw. This is a chainsaw on steroids with no gas, no electricity other than the battery. It is lightweight, it's maneuverable, it's the perfect way to trim, and we've got it for under 100 bucks. That price is extraordinary. Also, an even better price from Sunjo. Here's your new garden trimmer. It's the Sunjo Electric 